people are going to get hurt because physicians are afraid to act. Dr. Caroline Rouse works with pregnant women every day. Often these pregnancies are wanted, hoped for, but due to medical conditions with the mother or the baby, Dr. Rao says sometimes, sadly, they need to medically manage or terminate pregnancies. But with the future of abortion in Indiana playing out on the political stage, she worries about how future laws and restrictions could stifle a doctor's ability to provide life-saving medical care. I think a lot of medical providers, myself included, are concerned that we are going to be potentially criminalized for providing evidence-based medical care that that patient needs. Jennifer Droback, a law professor at IU's McKinney School of Law, says News of Indiana's attorney general threatening to go after a doctor for providing an abortion is making international news right now. She's been able to watch the latest from the Hoosier State unfolding from Portugal. While abortion is still legal in Indiana, Droback says she is not surprised to see the state's top attorney stretching the law in an effort to target this doctor for helping out a pregnant 10-year-old. But this is not about child abuse because the abuse and the attack on the child was already reported. This is about somebody's political agenda trying to chill a doctor from providing needed medical services to this poor girl. Rokita's claims focus on allegations that Dr. Bernard had potential reporting issues to the state. Claims the doctor denies. 13 News also spoke with attorneys who went through Dr. Bernard's record on reporting abortions to the state. They were not able to identify any issues with her reporting.